In this video, we sail through a little bit of choppy weather to a beautiful underwater piano bar where we dress in our formal attire. And then we find our own private island in the Exuma Bahamas. The Bahamas has some of the prettiest water and beaches you will find anywhere in the world. Bobby is returning from taking Bucky out for a walk. And I'm going to try to get him back for all the times he scared us. I'm going to try and scare him. Stay tuned. I saw the camera. Damn it! <laughs> nice try. I saw the. I mean, you still got me slightly, but I was like, okay, the camera's out. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about that. Well, I think I'm gonna turn on the radar and take a look. A little bit of rain coming. We'll see if we want to wait for that or not. The plan is to kind of move north. I don't think I see anything there. It's, that's the, the radar that you're seeing is actually the island chain itself reflecting off the ground, I think, mostly. So we'll start moving. Yeah, so a little bit of rain out there today. I think we'll dodge most of it or whatever. It's, it's not like bad weather. It's not like thunderstorms, it's just rain. Uh, so we're gonna go out here. It's kind of, the problem is, is that like two different, my charts, so that's the government chart and it shows shallow there. Whereas, you know, the sonar charts here show it's fine. So we're just gonna kind of stick our nose in there and see if these charts are right to get out. Um, so that's why I always like to have at least two sets of charts on the boat. So you got your government charts, these are the sonar charts, and then a lot of people will also get uh, explorer charts. Those are also another good resource. So I'd recommend having multiple sets of charts. We were headed north to Mushiki, which is David Copperfield's private island, where he's installed a piece of art underwater called The Musician. Uh, we're gonna go to a formal event underwater, so we wore our tuxedos. Uh, and the girls are gonna wear dresses. And uh, gonna go, uh, yeah, I hear it's a nice little piano bar underwater. Yeah, we're gonna get some uh, pina coladas. Pina coladas, yeah, there you go. Uh, so unfortunately, we don't have a tuxedo for Bucky, although he's he kind of wearing one. one. He's he kind of is wearing one. This thing is so tight on me. Hey, 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 easy, easy. He's got a tuxedo. He does! <laughs> Since the art is underwater, it took us a while to actually locate it. The art is a stainless steel piano and mermaid underwater. After a little playtime underwater, it was time to keep heading north to Little Farmer's Key. The current through there can be pretty strong, so Megan used the dinghy to help us catch the mooring ball. Come on. <laughs> First real dinghy. Uh... Go, Bucky. Come on. Watch out. There's no butt smell. Are you snuffing? <laughs> oh, they got, they got some nice, easy, some nice, easy food right here. Oh, they bring, I've they think about it, brings their cruising flags from all over the world. That's so cool. Oh, 
Of course we have Adrian. What do you think this is, Jeff? Oh, you're right. But it's not signed by anybody. <laughs> Floor, feel, feel free. Should, feel free. I should sign it. <laughs> I should find him. Ah, there's Belgium. Belgium right here. Texas flag. It's like karaoke. I've got the music and, and the whole thing. All right. Oh, All right. So it's like, like karaoke. Okay? So yeah, we got we got, own, we got our own. We got our own. I feel like I'm in like my fifth grade school play. I feel like I'm in the ocean. Yeah. You are. You are in the ocean. In a retreat. They got their own. <laughs> so our host Terry, thank you so much, and Ernestine. Uh, you're welcome. A pleasure. Welcome hey back. When you're coming through the exhumas, you got to stop an ocean cabin here at uh, welcome, Little Farmer's. You'll get food and karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sing the song with us. And yeah. these girls will be here too. Yeah. Yeah. Five dollars a week. Are, yeah. are you buddy, right. Bobby dropping us off here? Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Okay. We got good cooking and good company. Yeah. This is so to me And it will Right, we are here at Little Farmer's Yacht Club. Uh, so we're on a, one of their moorings. It's like 20 bucks a night. Uh, we are gonna go ashore for dinner tonight. Not gonna bring the camera. We took that with us to lunch and everything. But uh, they got chicken and ribs. And uh, yeah, so I've stayed on that dock a couple different times. It's been uh, a cool spot. Um, first time is 2016 and then 2020. So recommend Little Farmer's Yacht Club. They only have like room for like four boats. So, you know. But they have like six or seven, seven moorings out here. But we're gonna go to dinner now. Good morning. So as soon as the girls have had their breakfast, we are gonna go uh, hiking over here to, uh, there's this uh, called Oven Rock over here. There's a little cave over there. Go check it out. And then we're gonna head up to Black Point. Bucky is ready to go pee, I believe. And we're gonna go take him with us to the caves. Is, well, they put an arrow here. So the Karen I'm used to is way over there. I've seen it before. There, oh, so we, I think it's just for a little fire pit somebody built. And then we can sacrifice the virgin. <laughs> Back here. We have plenty of virgins here. This is the Exuma Stonehenge. <laughs> so that's kind of cool, actually. It's not gonna last. He, loves <laughs> <laughs> he loves eating those. Yeah. <laughs> Do not make art with Bucky. <laughs> yeah, we should find a spot to do a beach fire at some point, but you gotta set it up before sunset and then not be on the beach during sunset or right after because the sand flies, sand fleas are just awful and the mosquitoes. But if you wait till about an hour after dark, it's not bad. Oh yeah. Wait, yeah. like a thousand, yeah. The other side's worse. Yeah. <laughs> See what you did. Well, I'm gonna fix that. He's uh, having a little spider web paranoia now. <laughs> then now we put Bobby first. Yeah, apparently I'm up front to catch the spider webs. I don't know if you can hear Bucky crying, but he's crying. He doesn't want to come down in the cave. Man, usually when, when animals do that, doesn't that mean something? Yeah, it means we're about to be attacked. 
I guess it hasn't rained very much, but a lot of times, you know, there'll be water dripping through the ceiling in here. To create stalactites. Yeah, right there. Oh, it does look like a person. Put your feet in, old girl. You guys think the water's gonna be water cold? Oh. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> she was scared. Makes me miss the boys a little bit. Last time I was here, Maverick and Goose were here. It wasn't too much longer that Maverick got sick. It's like a made bridge. Yeah. And if you need a shoe, you can grab one. Oh, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah, it's just plastic, like microplastic everywhere. Like little tiny pieces of plastic just everywhere. It all mixes in with the sand. A lot of times when you're when you go to the beach in like Mexico or some tourist place where they, you know, all inclusive resort, they clean the beach in front of you, so it's always clean and pristine. There's no seaweed. But here, you know, on, on these islands where nobody lives, I mean just look at this sand look at this plastic. And lots of fishing gear. Yeah. Wow. This is this is awful. I mean, this is one of the worst I've seen. As far as like, I mean, I've seen trash on a lot of beaches, but like but the, the, mic, micro the, the microplastics here are just crazy. One of the best things about cruising the Izumas is you can have your own island and your own beach all to yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button, and it's our patrons that make this channel possible. Thank you so much.